All right, one more. The race is on throughout the Northeast, from tagging bats with tiny transmitters frequency 17347 to infrared flight analysis and blood testing of their immune systems. Yeah, I'll go over here. You'll see a little bit of spotting and Researchers scarring, are trying to solve one of the most devastating mysteries in the natural yeah. world, the huge and rapid die-off of the species named little brown bats. It's unprecedented in North American wildlife, at least in recorded history. Biologists are struggling to understand a fungus called white nose syndrome. It's killed more than a million bats over just three winters. The fungus grows on the faces of bats while they're hibernating. It seems to irritate the bats, upsetting their natural hibernation rhythms. They become more active and burn up critical body fat. And they're starving. They have no other source of food. In some cases, bats fly out into the freezing cold in a fruitless search for food. There have been losses of up to 95 to 100 percent in some caves and mines. It started in just four caves in upstate New York in 2006, spread in 2007 to three states, and last winter exploded to a total of nine others. This winter, it's expected to march further south and west, threatening other bat species and the nation's largest colonies. The past two winters, we've witnessed the profound impact. Oh, my God. Tragic for the million bats killed so far, potentially devastating for America's farms and forests. Think of bats as nature's pesticide. Just one of these little brown bats is capable of eating up to a thousand insects every night. Those million bats would have eaten each summer uh, about 694 tons of insects. Really? That's right. And so there so those insects are out here. Are out they're here. out here now. Surviving insects could do heavy damage to forests and woodlands. Other bat favorites, like moths and beetles, attack cotton and corn, potentially forcing farmers to use much more pesticide. The best hope for stopping white nose syndrome is probably a vaccine or a fungicide, but still years away. It's a very depressing uh, condition that uh, these bats are not likely to recover in my lifetime. Bats that have survived for 50 million years may now face extinction within a decade. Daniel Seberg, CBS News, Framingham, Massachusetts.